What do we have in there? A provision that undermines Second Amendment rights. Creates a pilot program on the safe storage of personally owned firearms for members of the armed forces. It's on a voluntary basis, but here's the problem. It establishes a structure for the DOD to be providing storage devices for members of the military. We know what the next step is. Another grant program, another funding program through the Department of Justice, another program through another agency to be telling you, you must take, or oh, hey, you can volunteer to take, you take these, but you must put the gun in whatever facility, whatever storage device the government gives you. That's where this is headed. We all know this. They act like it's minimal, it doesn't matter, but that's what happens. Then we embrace it, and then that program never goes away. It just gets bigger. Not a little pilot program, just try something and then get out of the way. When does the government ever start something and not make it bigger? And we're sitting here with $32 trillion of debt, and all we're doing is talking about how much more money we're going to spend. My colleagues on the other side of the aisle said, well, why don't you increase taxes? Okay, I'll tell you what, why don't we have that debate? You can't tax enough to spend all the money we're spending. You literally can't. Like, run the numbers, put up a spreadsheet. If we ever actually debated and came down here and had serious conversation, we could have that debate. I'd love to have that debate. But we just keep writing checks we can't cash. What else are we doing? Authorizing and extending security support to Ukraine at $800 million without Inspector General oversight. Amendments were offered in the Foreign Affairs Committee just the other day saying, well, shouldn't we have more oversight with Ukraine money? Democratic colleagues said, well, yeah, we're for oversight, but not right now. Well, because why in the hell would we want to have oversight right now over the money we're now spending in Ukraine and how it's being used? No, let's just figure it out later. Because then what will we do? Nothing. We'll do the same thing we always do. Spend more money that we don't have. No one down here, no, not one member of this body can come down here and refute that. Because every member of this body knows it's true. 